friends, and welcome to Build and Run. This is a real VR podcast for Unity developers, and we are here today at NYC VR University. And we're not just here, we're here live. So make some noise. Yes. So if you're watching this, you could look around the room and see this community that you are a part of um, just by watching. You don't even have to be here. You'll feel like you're here. But if you're here in person, you are extra lucky. Um, this is a fantastic community. It's growing beautifully fast. And it is growing because the technology is growing. And we have a passion and interest for it. Um, we're going to get started today talking about Microsoft HoloLens. And I'm going to teach you Microsoft HoloLens um, in a teaching method uh, that I adapted from Disney. It's called Three Special Steps. Uh, so my three and a half year old daughter watches this cartoon uh, and it's called Asian Oso. It's about a panda bear that's a special agent. Um, and I'm going to get a song stuck in your head so that you'll remember this forever. I'm going to uh, turn up the volume so that you will know what I'm talking about. See you jamming away. Come on, you guys. You need more volume? Is that it? <laughs> All right. Um, we're not going to talk about wrapping presents. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're not going to talk about wrapping presents, but the same applies. If you could memorize these three special steps, you can develop for HoloLens. Right? And uh, the song will help you through it. So, what I do to develop for HoloLens is I search. Uh, I could give you this long search term or, or a long URL that you have to write down or whatever. Just type in hollow 101 e and you'll get this link. First link that comes up. There's not many people that have something called 101 e on the internet. So a little bit of uniqueness uh, without having to type a long URL. This is the first result that's going to come up. And my whole presentation is based on this one web page that is free online. It's called the internet. You can search pages. They come up. You don't have to pay for them. You don't even have to like, carry them in your pocket. It's, they, they're all there for you. Um, this is not about the internet. It's about VR, and most specifically, the HoloLens. If, uh, who here has a HoloLens? <laughs> Good. Uh, we all know who, who is uh, yeah, beautiful. Uh, everybody find him afterwards. We will. Uh... <laughs> but no, uh, since all of you don't have the HoloLens, guess what? This lesson is about how to develop with the HoloLens without the HoloLens. Woo! It's just for you. Yes, so this is my special gift uh, to you. Um, three special steps. First step, set up your camera. Actually, very first step, download Unity, right? Then set up your camera. This is similar to all um, kind of modern VR devices that use room scale. You need to uh, set the transform of your camera to zero, zero, zero. If you're a Unity certified developer, beautiful, you will probably um, you want to just hit this gear and hit reset. And that would set your camera to zero, zero, zero. The next step is you go to the clear flags, you hit solid color. Then you go to the, you actually select the color, so you hit back, the background. That will pop up this. You set it to zero, 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 zero. Black transparent. What that does is that creates the background um, to be transparent, which is important in a HoloLens where you don't want to see. Uh, what it, backgrounds everywhere. You want to see transparency. You want to see, uh, make use of the, the tools. So that's step one, right? Do we all need to repeat it? Camera, zero, zero, zero. Clear flag, solid color, zero, zero, zero. Zero? Good. <laughs> right? Um, step two. Publish settings. Uh, you look, you, when you hit build and run, the name of this podcast is Build and Run. The magical button in Unity is called Build and Run. It's for a reason. It's magic. Uh, you hit that. You hit Windows Store as the build uh, platform. Then you change the SDK to Universal 10. You change uh, UWP to 
uh, Direct 3D, D3D, and you turn on Unity C Sharp projects. That's it, that's step two. That's like 66% of developing, or the, getting started in HoloLens. I'll play the song in for you. I know you guys want to hear the song. <laughs> step three, when you open up Visual Studio, you select Release, x86, and HoloLens em Emulator. What this does is this allows you to preview your HoloLens project without buying a HoloLens. Actually, no, by pre-ordering a HoloLens and then um, getting started by developing before it arrives at your house. Um, that's very important because to be excited and have an app ready to, to put on it is magical. And also, if you think about if you're a Unity developer, your Unity uh, will export to so many platforms. HoloLens is one of them. HoloLens is a fantastic. If you can develop now for uh, HoloLens before it ships to your house, you can make a release title. That's pretty cool. Um, and plus, you could have actual HoloLens. It's even better than even having a HoloLens, right? That's kind of like more cred, because you could just put money down and get the HoloLens, but to make an app for a HoloLens, it's a little more. So you would launch this, you hit the play right next to it after that, and you will hit, um, you will be able to use your Xbox controller, your mouse and keyboard, to simulate everything the HoloLens can do, including looking around, walking around, moving around, uh, even clicking in some of the, the uh, higher level functions. Um, that is it. I'll play the song again. Hey, what are my three special steps, Paul Pilot? Three special steps, that's all you need. Three special steps, and you'll succeed. Your special assignment is starting now. And three special steps will show you how. Step one, find wrapping paper. Uh, you get the, you get the idea. Um, <laughs> you could find this, uh, you could actually have children of your own and then you would have this memorized. <laughs> Um, but that's just the beginning, right? So that is how you publish in um, uh, for the HoloLens. That's how you get a VR, a three-dimensional three world, to appear on a HoloLens. The next step, which is the most important step, is what kind of world are you going to make? There is um, more time should go into your decision as to what you will make than how you will make it. Because congratulations, you all work in Unity, and how you will make it is easy. You will use Unity. So that's already answered for you. The next thing is how would you use Unity to make 3D worlds? Um, and there is a great deal of knowledge out there um, and a great deal of information. We are here today to share some of that incredibly valuable information of what you will build in the HoloLens with you today. So uh, anybody here does not know how to develop for the HoloLens now? Cool, so we are in really a room full of HoloLens developers. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> I don't know, that's, I mean, I would be more excited if I was developing for a platform like the HoloLens, it's not even out, um, and I had three <laughs> special steps to do so, I would be uh, more excited. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, so this has been an episode of Build and Run. You can find this and every other episode at build-run.com. This and every other episode is brought to you by vrvu.com. Uh, full service VR production, VR, AR, 360 video. If you want to get started in this uh, field and you want somebody to take care of you and kind of walk you through it and provide full service VR production, vrvu.com. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, this has been a session of NYC VR University, nycvru.com. Thank you. <laughs>